so today is the day when I'm gonna attack the Peugeot. Uh, sorry about the wind noise, but there's nothing much I can do about this weather. It's just the weather is what it is. But now today the problem is with the airbag light. I have ABS light and airbag light turned on. I'll show them on the screen. But in order to make sure I don't have any problems with the passenger side airbag, I need to first of all try to fix this because I think the there's under this steering wheel there's a system that able which in turn will make able to the steering wheel to be turned and the airbag still connected. But that ha thing has a limit how much you can turn it until there's two wires that snap. And I think I mine has that issue, but I have tried my friends, but just the same part on mine, but it didn't work. It didn't turn off the airbag light. So the next suspicion is the airbag module, which is right under here. So I need to take out this whole center console to get access to that airbag module on this right there. Removal of the rear seat ashtray. There is under it two T20 screws which need to be unscrewed. Now that's done, at the front should be as well two T20 screw. Oh shit, they're missing. How oh, well I know who to blame for that? After that the shifter boot cover comes off, revealing two 10 mm nuts. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something. After this, after the two 10 mm nuts are removed. Then the little plastic piece needs to be removed so the handbrake can be slided through that. After which the rear section of the center console can be lifted up. And I'm blocking the seat warmer buttons as well. So I'ma figure out what else we succeed and then invest all of my time into that and proceed. I need whatever the hell could make me happy. And I don't think you have a clue what could that be. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want And now Yo, hello, hello, who is there? But I don't give a fuck how I keep chasing. That's the airpack module. Yeah, and this just comes like that. Super duper easy. Now I just need to pull this off this way, and it will be off. They think that work is too stressful. I think that work is essential. The grind is all in your mental. And I don't think you understand what I'll go through just to be in control of my life soon. All the negativity, man, I'm immune. I don't really need a mask with all I've been through. I've been making changes for the ages. Five, ten year plans are contagious. I attack that shit, I'm tenacious. And if you ain't get the fuck out of my way, then. Got one life, I won't regret it. I will fight until I get it. I'll look back one day from heaven and say, damn, I learned some lessons. And say, damn, I have no questions. I had fun in every second, and the journey was a blessing, yeah. I don't know from where. But this clip was broken in like this clip should be here on this connector but it has um, broken off and I just pushed it in like it was like so so it wasn't fully seated in so I wonder would that fix the issue just putting that plug a little bit further in I guess I need to just test it and see what will happen. 
Now that the airbag module is fully seated, the car is in neutral. We're gonna see what will happen with that airbag light. Holy shit! It went away! That was easy! Uh, shut the hell up! So my airbox module connector wasn't connected fully in, seated in, and now my airbag light is turned off. What a huge relief actually, like... Ah. That's good, that's good news. I didn't thought it will be so easy, but I guess my airbag system is now working again. <laughs> oh, this is... But yeah, now I have a other issue. As you can see, the car is running right now, but there's no lights. And if I put it in reverse, there's as well no reverse lights. Even though if I turn this knob, that the la like the dashboard lights are on, then the front lights are on, and at the back lights are on, even then the reverse light doesn't come on. Like I don't know what's broken with it. Like maybe I think it's the relay for the light switch is broken. So when you turn on the ignition, the car doesn't have any lights on, but as the car cranks over and then starts, starts, then my Peugeot usually had all the lights on. Like the running lights were on and the rear lights were on. But it never, but it never had the gauges on, like the gauge plate gauge cluster wasn't on. So that's why I suspect it's that the relay is broken, not the... It's the number 12 fuse and it looks okay. It doesn't look to be broken. At least to my eye. I, I have seen many fuses that are blown, but this one, the 12 one, isn't, isn't one of those. But yeah, on to the next one. In the next video will be about the ABS light. Thank you so much for watching.